boy Moose Loves Fitness. Now today's video what I want to talk to you guys about is my current training program, what my plans are for the future, what I'm basically thinking. I thought let me just put the camera on, talk to you guys, let you guys know what's, what's going through my mind right now. So as you guys probably noticed from the previous videos, I have actually changed my training split. Like my training split before was obviously chest and back Mondays, shoulders and arms Tuesdays, legs Wednesdays and then I repeated that so it was like a six day on and one day rest um, this program now because I've tailored it for me to gain strength um, I just, that's my ultimate goal right now I want to get stronger I want to get stronger in most of my lifts and in order for me to get stronger I need to track my training which is something I've never done like I've done it by using just my brain and because I was going to the gym all the time but I've never done it like documented it on paper or on my computer which is what I'm doing right now so I've been training this training program for the last three weeks and uh, let's just say it is brutal and it's putting a lot of damage on me um, I weigh myself every other day sometimes three times a week sometimes maybe just once a week depends on if I remember just to make it a routine and yeah the scale is not always accurate looking in the mirror scale um, photos those are the main three that I would advise someone to use in order to see if the clothing as well the clothing that you're wearing those four are the ones I would advise someone to use in order to see if they're losing weight and um, just by going by one is not always the best thing to do the best thing to do is use all four clothing the scale mirror and photos uh, well the scale what it says is I am currently around 21 0.5% body fat which is probably not accurate I'm probably a little bit more or a little bit less I don't know um, and weighing around 103 kilos now normally um, when I was on a keto diet and maintained the keto diet the whole of last year pretty much um, I was around I was floating around 94 93 kg just floating there um, I just wanted to stay lean all year round and yeah, I've changed my approach. So I'm gonna talk in steps because right now I'm just talking all over the place. So let's just start with the training program. Um, my new training split is push, pull, leg, and I'm gonna be doing that for the next 12 to 16 weeks. The reason why I've chose to change it up is because it can get a bit boring when you're doing the same thing all day, every day. It can get repetitive and you're just like, you know what, I just don't want to do this no more, it's boring. So I thought, switch it up a little bit, make it a little bit exciting, you know what I mean? Um, so I decided to choose push-pull leg. Now, I took a couple weeks, or yeah, a couple, around two weeks to tailor this program. Um, obviously thinking about it, all that stuff. It took me a day to write it out and all that shit. But thinking about it, what type of exercises I wanted to do, which ones I thought would bring me the most progress, um, which exercises I thought I needed to get better in, and just like working a lot of compound movements. I wanted to do a lot of compound movements. Instead of just working one muscle, I was working multiple muscles, you know, like deadlift, squat, bench. I don't bench anyway, so I was doing incline, um, dips, you know, things like that. That's what I've put into my program. If you watch my previous videos, you know the kind of exercises I've been doing. And yeah, it's been very tough because this is the problem. When I do, now that I'm tracking it, now that I know what, what my numbers are on a weekly basis, I'm very competitive with myself. I'm always like, I can do better, I can do more. This is me, I'm trying to PR in every single, <laughs> every single exercise. So if I did my push day one, um, one week, the next week, if I say I did eight reps with uh, 100 kg on the incline uh, the next week I need to be doing what well, for eight reps the next week I need to be doing 110 for eight reps that's that's just me and I'm crazy like that I'm always trying to push my limits which is not a bad thing but also you need to pace yourself and me I just try to pee on every single exercise which is not the way to go about it if I want to get stronger um, I need to choose one or two exercises and say okay I'm gonna add a couple more reps or add a few uh, one more set or you know I mean or increase the weight there's different ways to make progressive overload um, to make progress you know it's not just increase the number of weight sometimes it's the rest period I mean I'm tracking everything like I'm tracking everything I'm tracking the reps I'm tracking the weight I'm tracking the sets and I'm tracking the rest period so all four of those I'm tracking and since I started tracking I realized that 60 one minute yeah one minute is nothing <laughs> two minutes it's nothing like 
when I'm resting for like a minute, I look down, you know, walk around, look back, and I'm like, whoa, 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 where did a minute go? I'm still here breathing heavy, which means I probably need more rest. Um, but yeah, definitely notice that the rest period is nothing. Like the, that one minute, two minute rest, it's nothing. Like before, when I wasn't tracking, I was resting way more than two minutes, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, it's really, I'm enjoying tracking because, you know, just knowing my numbers and making improvements here and there. Okay, next thing I want to talk to you guys about is obviously the new goal, which is to get stronger. So um, I'm definitely trying to increase my numbers. I can see that I'm getting stronger, which also means my weight will go up if I'm building new muscle and I need to eat more in order to get stronger. I can't be in a caloric deficit and get strong. You can get stronger in a caloric deficit, but the energy levels and the performance in the gym is going to be hurt. You know, you're going to, you're going to, no. You know what I mean? Unless I like have a good meal before I go to the gym, then maybe I can get stronger in that way. But whenever you're in a cal caloric deficit for a very long time, especially like 12, 16 weeks, your strength dips, you know? Especially when you're a natural athlete, your strength will dip. You know, some people are oh, no, my strength is the same earlier. Maybe your strength is the same, but I guarantee your rest period is way longer. So technically speaking, your rest, your, your strength ain't the same. Because if you're tracking all that stuff, I guarantee you're probably resting like three, four minutes instead of the one, two minutes. You know what I mean? All that stuff, that's that's not progress. <laughs> that's you going down. Um, so yeah, that's my new goal. Try and build strength. Um, yeah. On to the next point. Um, tracking my progress, I already talked about that. Um, also knowing your body type. This is another thing um, that I've had to think about like my diet you know i i love the ketogenic diet don't get me wrong but i was thinking to myself you know what's my goal now well like, what do i want to do do i ever want to compete no not really it's not in the back of my head i thought about it once or twice but it's not really something i want to do um what do i live by i live by the whole love life myth like that's my thing in it love life so it's about long-term results and i want to look good all year every year for the rest of my life i don't want to bulk i don't want to cut I just want to look good and feel good so i thought you know what ketogenic diet is not really it, it for me I, I don't think in my head that i want to do the ketogenic diet for the rest of my life i'm just being totally honest i love rice i love pasta i love my ben and jerry's you know what i'm saying i love my sushis you know i love my pizzas you know kebabs i don't want to be on the ketogenic diet for the rest of my life i can do it you know for like a year or two but for the rest of my life, no. So I thought, you know what, just scrap it. Just say no to the ketogenic diet. You need to figure out a good man balance in order to be able to eat the foods that you love, which is vital, you know, in order for mental health, everything, just be good. Be able to eat your pizzas every now and then. Clean food. I love cooking, so that's not a problem for me, cooking my food. And right now, I just finished my spag bowl. Yeah, just finished my homemade spag bowl. So natural ingredients, the garlics, the parsley, the tomatoes the onions you know make that good man food at home so cooking's not a problem so um i just need to find that good man balance and drinking drinking a lot of water um but i'm i'm a i'm a endo move actually no why am i saying endo move endo move is the skinny one right i can't remember two seconds That's the one. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm right. I'm an endomorph, so I put on body fat very fast. Um, I put on weight, not body fat, but I put on weight very fast. Um, that's part of my genetic built up. Um, I can gain weight really fast. Uh, my metabolism is not the greatest, but it's become better over the years of training and just working on my whole fitness and everything. So my metabolism has really has increased quite a bit. Um, but yeah. Knowing your body type is very important, you know, doesn't you know what kind of food you need to consume and how much food you need to consume. I'm an artist, so most of the time I'm in my office, this room right here, sitting in this chair for most of the day, which kind of dips my, my movement's not that high. So there again, I'm not burning that many calories. So my food intake is not going to be as high as someone that's always moving around the whole day, you know, has a high metabolism, all that stuff, when they can consume like 5,000 calories a day. If I... Be, consume 5,000 calories a day, I'm gonna be a round ball by the end of this year. It's already October, by the time it comes December, my face is gonna be round, body round, everything round, regardless of how much I train, because my movement's not high, my metabolism's not that fast, and my activity levels is just not enough. So, 
I consume around right now I'm on like 2,700 um, and so that, that changes some days I'll go 3,000 plus some days I'll go a little bit lower it just changes it depends on how I feel um, I'm tracking my food but not every day which is something I actually need to do in like the way I'm tracking my training it's the same way I need to track my diet but then again I've been dieting and, and all this stuff for the last two three years I've been tracking macros so I kind of know um, food but it's always best to track to be 100% accurate um, <clears throat> yeah so that's pretty much it with the whole food and metabolism and yeah that's that's pretty much it just thought you know let me turn the camera talk to you guys about my new goals and things that I want to do so yeah the goal is to get stronger but also look good all year round so I'm gonna try and build my strength for the next 12 16 weeks and then after that you know I love my high volume training so reducing my my reps and everything right now to like maximum of eight is it's been rough because I'm used to having all them sets but again if you want to get stronger it's more about the, the weights and how much how much I'm putting on you know go get stronger go lift heavy ass weight um in the words of uh, Ronnie Coleman everyone I want to be big but nobody wants to lift this heavy ass weight and that's it if I want to get bigger and stronger and work on my weak points I need to lift heavy that's the only way to put on muscle lift heavy eat good sleep good that's actually something I haven't spoken about sleep I'm really trying to work on my sleep, trying to get my sleep. But uh, I'm a creative person and us creative people, we love to work at night. Most of us, not all of us, but most of us like to work at night when everyone's sleeping and you've got a peace of mind, you've got basically your area to yourself, no noise, no nothing. Um, and I've been trying to wake up at like four, four, five in the morning, you know, go to sleep around nine. I did it for a couple months. I think I did it for like a month and a half. It was going well, but I just thought, you know, it's not me, you know, sometimes when you're trying to force something that you're not doing, I know you get yourself out of your comfort zone, um, but when you're trying to force something that's not you, you know, it's, it's just not you. I tried it, I'm a night person, man. I love working at night. I feel the, that's when my creative juices are flowing. Um, so yeah, really trying to work on my sleep, at least get around six hours minimum. You know, there was times where I go days without sleeping and everything. And you, you see the progress. You see your progress dipping when you're not sleeping enough. Rest, that's the time when your body's doing all its damage. You know, that's the, what, what I call it, the maintenance. That's what I call it, the maintenance. When you're sleeping, that's when your body's like, okay, now we can go to work. Let's repair some of this. Let's grow the muscle, you know. All that stuff happens when you sleep. So if you ain't sleeping, you ain't repairing your body and you ain't growing. So sleep has definitely been these last couple of weeks i've been sleeping like a baby because this training program has been damaging my body and i've just been knocked out like no alarms no nothing i've been sleeping like 10 hours i'm not gonna lie to you and i haven't slept like 10 hours in years so one it means i'm training crazy hard in the gym and it just means that my body needs more time to recover you know some people are like, oh no you've still got sleep you're six i get that but you know i want to grow so i need to sleep right and my weight is going up as well and my body fat is going down which is kind of cool. Can't complain there. Body fat going down, but weight's going up. That means that's new muscle tissue. <laughs> Sweet. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to leave that video there. Hopefully, you guys learn something or just figure out what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, always set yourself goals. It's really good. You know, have something to work towards. And my right now is trying to get stronger. Look good, feel good, and love life. You know, that's, that's what we live by over here. We're about to love life. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. I know I babbled on here, there, all this talking, um, but hopefully you guys know what's going on and yeah, just want to share it with you, innit? Cool, it's your boy, Mr. Lost Fitness. Catch you lot in the next video. Peace.